Good morning, folks. This is Alex Landefeld with Cooking Alex, the irreverent but not necessarily irrelevant YouTube cooking show. Hey, uh, this morning we're just doing a smoothie. Um, uh, the audi you may hear the audience laughing or coughing or something like that, but just ignore them. That's the audience. I have a paid audience here. Um, so we're doing a smoothie this morning, and I haven't done much with smoothies, but uh, uh, and I, you may have noticed in the past that I hate recipes, uh, or at least I can't follow them very well. Although yesterday I did a wonderful rhubarb cobbler uh, with a recipe, and it went extremely well just because the recipe recipe was very well done. It had been tested many times by the uh, local cook. Um, so, anyways, the. Uh, the smoothie we're doing is kale. It's obviously one of my own concoctions. I like kale in a lot of dishes, uh, and this is a kale smoothie with uh, coconut milk. Um, and I have some strawberries and bananas, and uh, I'll show you in a minute what we're doing here. So um, here we have, uh, uh, this is the kale I'm using, which is just some nice uh, crinkly kale from uh, uh, the local grocery store. Uh, I'm going to throw in some uh, some strawberries, a banana, and if you look down here in, in Vive la Garbage, I have the uh, silk coconut milk that I used um, for the smoothie. And over here, uh, we have the actual smoothie in progress. If you look in there, the beautiful green stuff is the smoothie. Um, yeah, the, the local audience does not really like the look of that, but they don't have to drink it. Anyways, what we're going to do is um, we blended up the kale already pretty well. And here we're going to throw in the banana. There's banana in there. And then we'll, we'll do them one thing at a time here. No particular rhyme or reason for that, but uh, there's that. We're going to run that just on great. Hold that. And I'm assuming Mr. Banana is pretty well in there now. So now we're going to add the strawberries. The strawberries are in there. Uh, I'm assuming we will continue to have green from the kale after the strawberries go through. Holding down the top just in case. Now many of you may use a high-tech uh, juicer or blender or something like that, but I tend to go for low-tech as, as much as possible. Now as you can see, actually the color has become a little darker green, uh, probably because of the strawberries there. And we'll just let it blend a little bit because the, uh, the kale really uh, um, is pretty fibrous. And I don't cut it up a whole lot. I may even add some more in a moment here. Now let's maybe do a taste test here of the kale. Of the kale smoothie. See how we can do this one-handed. I have visions of Tony Stark here drinking his concoctions. So, uh, it looks uh, pretty green there. So let's let's see how this tastes. Very nice and smooth. Very nice and smooth taste. Yum. Now to use up the rest of the kale, I may uh, chop up some more kale. Let's see if I can't uh, get that on camera. I don't know if I can. Let's see how we position the camera tripod here.
Bear with me, studio audience here, while we position the tripod. But we might actually recruit. Hey, camera crew, come here. Hang on, I'm going to recruit my camera crew to hold the camera pointing down at the cutting board while I cut up the rest of the kale. Now it might interest the audience, since I have thousands and thousands of viewers, to note what kind of knife I'm using. This is about a 25-year-old uh, Sabatier, which, as I learned at the local cutlery store, is a carbon steel knife, which means it never needs really to be sharpened. Uh, it's as sharp now as the day it was forged, so you just need to keep it clean. I didn't realize that. I thought you had to sharpen every knife. Um, so I've now cut up a bunch, and I will probably totally stuff this thing and see if it even blends. It may not. Now let's see what happens. Not much is happening. Now I would uh, tempt fate by sticking my hand in there, so I'll just use the wooden spoon. I just love wooden spoons or bamboo. I think maybe some water is in order. I'd add more coconut milk, but uh, I don't have any more. Wow, is that stuff thick and green. Now I wouldn't ordinarily recommend using so much kale, uh, but we're trying to get through the week's worth of kale so we can get some more at the store. Yum. Don't ever lick the containers like that because other people will not want to see you doing that in, in your kitchen if you share your kitchen with other people. And then, liquid kale. This is Alex with YouTube cooking show Cooking Alex, cooking up some smoothies. Have a good day.